This is a sign I used for the Tennessee Titans week three game. What I wrote for the Tennessee Titans week three game, as you can see, it's the date, what I predicted for the score. My prediction for this game was the Tennessee Titans would win 28. My prediction for this game was the Tennessee Titans would win 28-20. The defense would have a defense would intercept the ball two times, once in the first half, once late in the once in the first half, the other time late the second time late in the fourth quarter, which didn't happen. I also predicted that um, Derrick Henry would have over one run for over 115 yards that didn't happen also they would run for two touchdowns also that didn't happen and the titans would win 28 20 they didn't win that they they won the game just not by that score it was 33 27 and i did predict mario did would throw for two touchdowns so i was right i was right with that detail but clearly i was right i was I was wrong on a number of details, but because the Tennessee Titans won a great game with a higher score than I predicted, ended up scoring more points than I predicted, and heart, and it's hard to be unhappy with that result because I was at this game, I saw this game in Nashville, the Nissan Stadium, and um, this was the, there was a number of three, yeah, there's, Four different facts about the number three with this game. When I saw it in uh, Nashville, the Titans play the Seahawks. This was the third regular season home game that I saw for the Tennessee Titans. I saw them play the Jacksonville Jaguars in the 2004 season. That was a at Nashville. That was a heartbreaker, and because they, it was a close toss-up game that the Titans didn't win because. They end up giving a game-winning touchdown late in the game, so they lost. So not a so, which is the main reason why they lost. I saw them play the Blue Horses, the the Colts, in the 2016 season. They end up losing a great, close, entertaining game to the Colts, mainly because of. They ended up giving a up a game-winning touchdown in the fourth quarter, and they didn't get off the field when they needed to. And there was also a uh, batted-up pass that, if it was inter, most likely high, more than likely if it was intercepted, that maybe the Titans would have been able to score more points and been able to win that game. At, but add in even with giving up the game-winning touchdown to make it even worse. Um, there was a fumble, and it was returned by the Colts' defense for a touchdown, which put the game out of reach because the Titans would have had to score twice, plus rec which included scoring an onside kick, and it's not a high percentage to uh, recover an onside kick. So they end up losing that heartbreaker close game. So it's pretty, it's like it was the same. It was the same story again, and again, it was the same story again, losing a heartbreaker close game that they could have won. They, they could have won, but they did, just didn't finish in the fourth quarter. And this time, the third time is, so there's that. There is also the fact that um, this is in, this was a NFL, <laughs> this was a NFL week three game. This was the third game of the season for the Tennessee Titans. And this, I picked the Titans to, uh, I was, it was 2-0, and I, I picked it. I I am uh I, this is the third game I picked the Titans for my NFL my third game for the uh, NFL Week Three NFL Elimination um NFL ESP the NFL ESPN Elimination pick you can only pick you can't pick the same team twice in the same season and it's the NFL Week Three I decided to. 
pick the Titans in a home game versus a formidable foe, but still what I believed what I was optimistic would be a winning game winnable wait a winnable game and if they had won I would I would go up I would I would go three and0 for that NFL ESPN elimination pick and they ended up winning so three and0 for the NFL ESPN elimination uh, pick and also uh the third game the third game the regular season home game I saw for the Tennessee Titans is the charm or the breakthrough because they end up winning 30 they end up winning a great entertaining exciting unforgettable close game 33 to 27 both see hot it was nine it was um it was nine seven at halftime Titans held to field goals but then in the second half the Titans had a Titanic second half, which was on which is they had a Titanic second half because they scored twenty one they scored twenty one consecutive on twenty one consecutive offense points, which included a seventy five yard uh, run T D by DeMarco Murray, which ties what he had which was deja vu of the seventy five yard T D run TD that he had um, last year versus last year versus the Packers because it was the same distance. It had different details, but the fact that it was also seventy five yards is why I had deja vu, and no doubt other Titans fans and other NFL fans also did. So that was great to see. There was the um, long pass to Jonah um, Jonah Smith. And then there was also the uh, penalty. The Titans took advantage with that. They uh, ended up throwing to Rashad Matthews, and he ended up getting in the open space with separation, and he was easily able to go in, go into the end zone for a touchdown. So I was, I'm, I was freaking astounded that I am seeing the Titans have such, and they also end up scoring 24 points exactly in the second half. And I'm astounded that I, I'm astounded mainly for the fact that I. This was not foreseeable that the tight. It wasn't for I, I didn't foresee it at all that the Titans were, and I was astounded because the Titans were scoring most of their points in the second half for second consecutive game. Except this time, this is a game that I am seeing in person. While the Jags game is something I saw, I watched on TV because I wasn't I wasn't in Jacksonville. And so, yeah, I was astounded that I was. I'm seeing the Titans with with this great, this Titanic second half performance. They didn't just end up defeating the Seahawks; they defeat them in in excellent, unforgettable, impressive fashion. Because they end up scoring uh, 24 points in the second half, and that was most of their offense. 24 of their 33 points. So that was most. Once again, that was most of their, uh, for the second consecutive game, they scored most of their points in the second half. So I was astounded. I wasn't, I was optimistic that the Titans, I had this picked as a uh, win before the season started. And so I wasn't astounded that the Titans won, but I was astounded at how great they played in the second half. That wasn't foreseeable against a formidable opponent, formidable foe or adversary. And I was also astounded for the fact that the Titans are they score twenty one consecutive offense points versus a formidable adversary, the Seahawks, which is why. So so yeah, I'm so I'm utterly damn happy that not only did the Tennessee Titans finally, not only did I not only with did I see them win a uh, regular season home game, but also they won it in a great unforgettable way and um i was also pretty astounded because i was also astounded for the fact that not only was this that the tight wasn't so yeah i'm mostly i was astounded because of how the titans won this game it was wouldn't be shocked it's not shocking me that they won the game but it is astounding that they ended up winning this game in a great unforgettable way against a formidable foe or adversary 
because of having scored 21 consecutive offense points and 24 points exactly in the second half. And also uh, add in for the fact that DeMarco Murray, he had a great game with uh, running for up to 115 yards and, and one touchdown. And all the touchdown passes were over 15 yards. So this it was freaking... It was astounding and great and unforgettable that the Titans would score all their touchdowns of above 20 yards, and also for the also for um, I'm also astounded because the Seahawks they had no turnovers, the Titans they had no turnovers, so I'm astounded. I'm astounded that the first Titans uh, regular season home game that I see them win is they also is also a game where the t where the team that they played had zero turnovers and the Titans they also had zero turnovers. It's a rarity that in an NFL regular season home game and correction if it it's a rarity that in an NFL regular season game that the two teams involved both of them have zero turnovers. I'd have to look up when, when exactly, other times, uh, two teams, two NFL teams in a regular season game have had zero, both had zero turnovers. So I can't recall off the top of my head when when exactly has that happened if it has. So yeah, it's a um, it's a great impressive win. I'm damn happy that I finally got to see the Titan. I finally saw the Titans win a regular season home game and add in for the fact that because it's a second consecutive win and it's a major win for the Titans mainly because they had that great impressive win against the Jaguars. They proved that, um, that scoring that 30 points versus the Jaguars isn't a fluke because they ended up again. They end up scoring over. They end up scoring over thirty points versus the Jaguars. They proved that wasn't a fluke because they end up scoring over thirty points versus the Seahawks. And similar to that Jaguars game, they uh, end up scoring most of their points in the second half, which was mostly, which was mostly touchdowns. And um, it's a great, impressive win. There's no letdown or no stinker after that great win versus the Jaguars, and uh, that is my um, reaction to the Tennessee Titans defeating the Seattle Seahawks 33-27 in the Week Three of the 2017 NFL season.